What's up guys? Welcome back to another bus build. I got a few things for you today on uh, what we'll be tackling. Uh, yesterday I actually started on wiring uh, one of my light switches and like like panels for the lights, USB ports, and a uh, cigarette lighter. And it has like a little voltage meter too. Um, I'll show you that here in a second. So um, what I wanted to show you first is what I did yesterday. I just did a, a little bit just because it started raining and then I ran into a couple of snags. But today uh, we'll go into a bit more stuff. But first I'll show you what I did yesterday. What's up guys, how you doing today? Uh, welcome back to another best build. Um, sorry if you hear rain, uh, it just started raining, but which is a good opportunity to uh, work on it when it's a little cooler. It's not super hot out because it was 100 degrees for the past three days, so definitely couldn't work on the bus. Uh, today, um, since we got the control panel up and uh, installed, um, now I have to run wires to it. So for all the uh, LED lights, the switches, all DC type stuff needs to be run. So what we're going to do today is run all those and um, hopefully install some switches as well. So first on the agenda today is um, wanting to run lines from the first um, armrest for the couch to the control panel. But I have to go from here all the way up and around the ceiling, coming around back towards where, behind where you are uh, right now. So I want to install this switch, which actually has like a, um, a voltage reader, uh, a switch. Uh, one's got a, uh, a, a USB port on it. And then also the other one has just a normal cigarette lighter for whatever I need. And the reason why I wanted it on this spot right here is because if I ever wanted to hook something up via um, cigarette lighter, I could just open the door, connect it straight to here, and then call it good. Um, so what we'll do is we'll measure where actually I want to put this and um, run the lines from how we get up there. I went ahead and wired it up already. Um, I will kind of give you a run through later on how that's all wired and what goes to what. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know as soon as that, um, since we get that finished. All right guys, now that I got this set up here, uh, what we're gonna do is just take this uh, top piece off here uh, check for spiders. We've got some spider webs, but no spiders, which is good. Um, so what we're going to try to do is um, see where we want this plate. So what I need to do is take all these out and just mark the plate on where I want. But I'm, I have a rough idea of where I want it, and it's going to be about, about here or so. So all I need to do is get a cable long enough to reach this cable, because this is going to be my uh, positive uh, for coming from the batteries or from the the uh, DC block. This will be my negative and that will go, go back to the DC block. And then this wire will be uh, going to my lights or whatever, um, whatever appliance that I want to power. So as soon as this switch is flipped on, those lights come on, that come the uh, switch goes off, lights go off. Uh, so luckily, I have all of this um, extra cable. It's um, 12 gauge cable, which is more than enough for what I'm trying to power, which are just LED lights at the moment. Um, so, I like I said, I was lucky enough to have get these for free because the uh, host that I'm staying with actually. Um, doesn't need them, just wants to get rid of them. So I have the uh, red, and then I also have the black. So I got plenty of them. The only difference between these two 
is that the uh, black is a solid copper cable and then the red is a thin stranded uh, copper cable. Hopefully that won't um, make a difference, but they're the same gauge, one solid, one's not. So I just figured we'll roll with it and see what it does. All right, guys, sorry if you actually hear a fan going. It's so hot and muggy after the rain. Um, I just had to get some air flowing. But basically what I've done so far is I took the uh, wire that I showed you before and I had to like run that up here. Let me see if I can get you to see it here. And so I had to run that uh, back in through here around where this, um, outside this metal box here. And that's gonna go down and swivel down all the way to, um, to this piece here. Um, so what I'll do now is I'm gonna run the rest of this cable uh, along here, um, up through uh, that the back piece there. I'm gonna have to snake it up all the way down. We'll come around there, back behind there. Uh, back behind there and that's gonna go through this metal box here and come through Right here following these cables there um, And then they will go down This channel and then also through that hole there and that will go to my box so um, That's how I'm going to get that cable from one side to the other and um, I'll probably do like a time-lapse or something showing you me snaking it all the way through. Cool. All right guys, so I hope you could see this. Uh, since it's been raining, uh, it's been getting darker way faster. So I'm trying to hurry up and get as much stuff as I can get done as possible. Uh, what I wanted to show you really fast um, before I get to these holes right here, um, I actually took um, a drill bit, hopefully you can see this, uh, right here, and I drilled straight through these uh, two by fours. So now my wires come out so you don't see them on the top. So those will come straight into here. Um, and use them for um, hooking this stuff up. So what I did is I took all the extra stuff that I showed you before, like the USB hub, um, and it's just this here. I wanted to show you that all you have to really do when it comes to something like that is take those apart, place your template where you want it, um, and then you just trace the circles and, um, and then drill it out. So what we'll go ahead and do is attempt to drill this thing out and uh, see if this will um, work, <laughs> hopefully. Okay guys, so that actually took way longer than it needed to be. Um, I don't know what type of wood this is, but I got it for free. But man, it was so difficult to drill through. <clears throat> but I was able to get the them in there and installed, so they're, it's in there. Um, the difficult part about it was that the uh, these pieces were different lengths, so these were really long, these were really short. So I had to drill a bigger hole for these like nut things to um, go through. So that way, that what the back of it looks like. Um, but now, since I have my cable, 
and that will go perfectly right there. I put that there, and then that there. Still, just like that. Now I have a panel switch, so I can on, off, on, off. Got my USBs if I need it, need close by to the door. Same thing with the cigarette lighter, got that there. Um, so now all I need to do is uh, put, them all, put it all together and test it out. So we'll try to put these wires back on there um, and then go from there. Cool. All right, guys, now that I uh, have you up to date on what I did, um, I actually started running the third cable for the uh, light switch. Um, I did the exact same thing, ran it through the exact same all the way around, um, but I'll show you what I added onto it and what actually, um, what it's going to be connecting to. All right, guys, so uh, since I had my uh, cables run to this block, what I did is up here, I actually continued, where's my blue wire? Here's my blue wire. So up here is my blue wire on top of where the black and red came back around. Um, and that is a con just continuing down, um, and I'll show you on the other side. Okay, so that cable is running through on from the other side of the, uh, the metal housing, coming around to this uh, little um, terminal thing. Uh, it splits it three ways, so it's all positive power coming into here. One's going up, up, and through the ceiling there. coming through so one light will go right here or right where this X is and then the nether light will go where this other X is right here um, so I have those fed through the the frame of the bus and so that one then comes down back into that third one and goes along to this one where it's only a two uh, terminal connector and that splits off and goes up into the same thing comes around and then across for that light there and that light there okay so what that's gonna do is this switch right here is connected to those blue cables that I have for the lights so as soon as this one switches on it uh, theoretically should turn the lights on um, and then also off um, these will be powered all the time uh, so the USBs will always be have continuous power I don't know how that will um, affect the battery drain but since they're all super small LEDs I don't think it's going to be a problem same thing with the voltage meter here it'll keep, uh, tell me what the voltage it voltage is and for my uh, batteries and stuff like that all right, guys, so I just wanted to show you um, what type of connectors I've, I'm using. Um, I thought these were pretty incredible versus the, uh, the twist-on ones. Um, these are um, the ideal um, insure uh, cable connectors, and you just push them in, and they have this little, uh, like, metal clamp, so it's when you push the cable in, that clamp clamps down on it and when you try to pull it out it pushes up against it so it locks it in there um, so I just wanted to show you on how I install one so I have my black negative cable that's here right uh, so all I do is just take a uh, just some wire strippers since it's um 12 gauge cable you want to have there's like a 12 uh, gauge uh, deal on that so ju you're just gonna take off just a little bit and just kind of loop that around and take that and strip it out okay so same thing on the previous video that I showed you with the big huge cable uh, have a tiny way tinier baby cable um, so what you do kind of also twist that around a little bit and 
take the connector and I'm thinking how I want that. So this side is going to go into here, the middle one will go to the lights, and then the other one will go to the other lights. So all you gotta do is take that first hole there, kind of push it down. It is a little difficult to get those in there sometimes, but um, now that that's down in there, I don't know if you can see this. Let's see. You can see the little copper inside of it, and you know that you've actually got it in there and it's going to work. Um, and it won't come out now. Um, what I'll do next is I'll add like the same, like the try one. Um, so I'll do one, two, that will go to that one, and that will go to the lights. Because with these lights I need a, a negative portion of it, so we'll, uh, we'll do that and continue on. guys so running cable takes way longer than you think it does just because it's so meticulous and you have to run things and sometimes the cable just doesn't want to work with you so it wants to bend different ways and it's just a pain in the butt sometimes so on that note I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this um, this episode uh, what I'll continue to do is run all the electrical that I need for all the lights once that's done, I'll show you. I know you don't want to see me run every single thing, but I'll give you a rundown of what I did. Uh, guys, once again, thank you so much for um, stopping by and checking out my video. I uh, hope you learned something, or if you have any other questions, please comment below. Like, subscribe, um, and share with all your friends and all your, your bus nerds. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.